Strawberry. OpenAI has released it just last week. And Strawberry is not just an incremental improvement of ChatGPT, so it's not like a, a next generation of ChatGPT, no. Strawberry is a fundamental revolution in the world of AI. And I don't think anybody who actually tested Strawberry would disagree with that. But this revolution is special. It is different from anything we have seen in the past. Because it got a secret. And today, that secret will be revealed. Yes, we think we have cracked the secret of Strawberry, the secret of the world's most powerful AI model. You have probably noticed that here on Scripta channel, we are not fans of huge statements. Basically, we hate clickbait. But this time, this time is different. Because Strawberry is different. And I personally believe that there is a non-negative probability that in the future we will talk about Strawberry as if the first actual AI model. Basically, everything before that will be just like, just like a prequel. There is definitely something very strange about Strawberry. Almost all previous major discoveries in the field of AI they were public. We all learned about them from uh, announcements. Um, for example, in case of attention mechanism uh, or transformers uh, or ChatGPT, articles about them, about these discoveries, they were published almost immediately. And they enabled the whole AI revolution. Researchers and developers from across the world, they could start working on them right away. But Strawberry is different. Its creator, uh, OpenAI, its creator is very, very secretive. Secretive to the extent of blocking the accounts of those researchers like ourselves who try to look under the hood and reverse engineer Strawberry. You don't have to be a mega mind to see that OpenAI doesn't want us to know what's inside. All they told us about Strawberry was that uh, it is capable of reasoning, uh, well, whatever that means. And that's all. Strawberry has a secret, and OpenAI is hiding it. Considering what is at stake, this may be the most important secret in the world right now. But an interesting thing about us, humans, is that we are curious beings. Curiosity is a natural feature of our species. Curiosity is what made us, Homo sapiens, uh, who we are. We have cracked it. We have learned that it is not just reasoning what Strawberry has inside. It is something much, much, much more important. And as you will see in the next 10 minutes or about so, um, OpenAI has a good reason to hide it from us. In behavioral science, there is a test. It is called a rephrase test. It is used to detect imitators or pretenders people who fake knowledge. It is as simple as it sounds. If you want to know if the person in front of you is just an imitator or he's a true expert, all you have to do is to ask him to rephrase. You ask him to say the same thing, but in using different words. Experts would have no problems doing that. Experts can explain things that they know well in a million different ways. But imitators would stumble. Imitators would either dodge the question or just repeat the same thing again and again like a broken record. Because imitators cannot rephrase, they do not have the knowledge. Here we have to say that it's usually not a very good idea to uh, do this test, uh, to the rephrase test uh, on other people, especially in public. Because we humans, uh, we usually, we don't really like when it is being revealed that we are imitators. So. Again, be careful about using this test on other people. However, AI doesn't mind. AI is not so easy to embarrass, and it doesn't care of being embarrassed in public. So this is what we're going to do. Let's test. All right, here we go. This is ChatGPT. Let's find Strawberry. Where's Strawberry? All right, here we go. That's Strawberry, one preview. Let's ask the question. The question is, uh, please explain why Earth rotates around the sun. Do it in one paragraph. Here we go, it is thinking. Here comes the answer. Earth rotates because of gravitational pull and Earth's inertia. All right, that's a, that makes sense. 
Let's uh, test the rephrase. Uh, let's ask to rephrase. Please rephrase. Do not use words gravity or inertia. Here we go. It is thinking again. Here's the answer. Earth orbits because of mutual attraction and straight light motion. It is a pass. It has passed the rephrase test. We've run the rephrase test many, many times. And the result is always the same. Strawberry does pass. Try it yourself. Go and do rephrase test on any subject that you think you know very well. You will see that strawberry is not an imitator. It is an expert, a true expert. And strawberry has a true knowledge. And we have also run this test on previous models, including ChatGPT and Lama 3.1. They all fail. Sometimes they repeated the same response again and again. Other times they simply say some nonsense or they start to hallucinate. All previous AI models were imitators. Again, all previous AI models were imitators. They were simply repeating things they learned, just blindly picking the next word one by another. Imitators. And Strawberry? Strawberry is the first AI that is an expert. It is the first AI system that has true knowledge. I don't know how to emphasize this message here, but this is the most important thing that, is, that has happened with us. Um, just think about it. Strawberry is the first AI model in history of humankind. The first AI model that has true knowledge. How does Strawberry do it? Where does the knowledge come from? OpenAI tells us that Strawberry has a reasoning apparatus. They don't give us details. But we know that Strawberry is an agent model. This means that inside it has not just one AI model, but a group of AI models that solve the problem together. It is like a team of independent experts solving one problem together, as a team. So it is a team. And this type of models is called AI agents. However, this team structure cannot alone explain how Strawberry got the knowledge. Because this is not the first time teams of AI, the AI agents, have been built. For example, NVIDIA is actively developing uh, so-called NIMS, which basically is the same thing. It's like a team of AI agents working together. There are plenty of AI agents uh, using Llama, for example. But to the best of our knowledge, none of them actually passed uh, the rephrase test. None of them have the knowledge. If making a few AI models working together is not enough to get the knowledge, then um, how did Strawberry get it? Here is how. The great discovery of the attention mechanism in 2017 gave birth to transformer models and to ChatGPT. If we boil down that discovery, it was all about a concept-oriented um, language. Uh, it's basically, it was creation of a concept-oriented language. We have discussed this in this video, right here. The idea was remarkably simple. Humans, well, basically, we, we use uh, one-dimensional language. We communicate by passing to each other uh, one-dimensional strings of information, like words or sentences or books. Well, the entire internet is effectively one-dimensional string of letters. What you hear from me right now is also a one-dimensional string. And for thousands of years, starting from first Shumerian scripts, this was how we transferred and stored information. The invention of transformers in 2017 has changed that forever. It turned out that transformers, including ChatGPT, can convert or transform uh, one-dimensional human language into multi-dimensional vectors. And here's how it works. ChatGPT was the first AI transformer model trained on the entire internet, on the entire knowledge that humankind has collected since the beginning of time. We can think of, uh, of, uh, of it as if ChatGPT was just like a giant juice machine 
squeezing concepts and vectors from the world. And for each object in our world, for each concept, it has a sign, it has squeezed a vector, a multidimensional vector. So there is a vector for the concept of a cup, for example, a vector for the concept of a bird, for everything. For every concept in our world, no matter how complex this concept is, there is a vector. So there is a vector for the concept of friendship and love, planets rotating around the sun, also that's a concept, Pavlov dog concept. Whatever you can think of, no matter how complex or abstract that is, it had been converted, it had been squeezed into a vector. And it turned out that vectors are the most efficient way to communicate and to store information. For example, ChatGPT has compressed the whole internet into one file of less than half a terabyte. The whole knowledge accumulated by our human civilization is stored right here on this memory stick. It is a concept-oriented language, a new language that AI uses to think. This is a language of AI, the new universal language of our world, the language of future. Remember those groups of AI models uh, working together, the AI agents? They were already thinking in this new AI language in vectors with millions of dimensions. But when they were communicating to each other, they had to translate everything into human language. Have you ever spoke to somebody through a translator? So that's how the AI models were doing this. So basically, this is how they were, as the agents, AI agents, how they were talking to each other. So when two AI systems spoke to each other, they first converted AI language into human language, then transferred the, the, the message, and then converted it back. Incredibly inefficient. And then OpenAI has created Strawberry, a system where AI models can talk to each other in their own language. That's how Strawberry got the true knowledge. And this is why AI is no longer an imitator. AI has become an expert. It has got the true knowledge. Welcome to the new world. This story continues. Don't forget to subscribe.